what up guys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're taking a look at shadows to make your stream kind of pop a little bit. I'm all about making streams minimalistic, not having too much flashy stuff all on screen at the same time, but adding a little drop shadow to your camera will make it pop so much, and to be honest, it's so in right now. The minimalistic look is what everybody's after and by the end of this tutorial that you will know all about that okay so make sure you do like and also subscribe it does help me massively and I've got so much content and stuff for you to learn that I just want to share so just do it do it just do it just do it I don't know what's wrong with me right let's just get on with it put your rug over the stone let's go Right, so before we get into this, you are going to have to download the Stream Effects plugin. The link is down in the description. We're going to jump to Zaymar's uh, GitHub page to download it. We're going to go right down to the bottom and download the Windows.exe version. The reason why we download the exe because it will install any uh, missing redistributables, like for Visual Studio or anything like that, that you are missing on your computer to make sure everything works on here. So just click on that hit download and run through the initial setup make sure you are installing to your c drive and then either program files or program files 86 whichever has obs studio in there okay once you've got that all installed you can head on over into obs and you'll be able to tell that you've got it installed because it will pop up with a message saying welcome to stream effects and you'll also see this button just there so now we're going to add the little shadow so i've got two scenes set up just here so I've got um, a webcam picture on one scene and I've got the a blank blank color source just there and also that scene from before using a nested scene. So if you don't know what a nested scene is, go and check out my video just up in this corner, okay? So I'm going to add a, imagine this is a live webcam, I'm going to go right click and add filters and I'm adding it to the scene because it'll allow us to add different effects to the outside and the inside of it without having to crop the source okay it, it just it saves a lot of headache further down the the road you're gonna look for SDF um, effects so that stands for sign distance filter uh, you'll be able to see that as well if it's not SDF effects but if you're on the most up-to-date version it should be that and you get a few different options just here, like uh, out of shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, and outline. Today, we're just going to be using the outer shadow. Sometimes these can be quite hardware intensive, so just use them. Just be careful with them. Don't don't be adding a ton of this around your stream. I only have it on my webcam as to make it stand out uh, without having a ton of overlays. So if we start fiddling about with some of these sections here, you'll be able to see we're starting to get a bit of a shadow around the edge. We can offset the shadow, so I like to kind of put it on, say, 20, and then minus 20. Again, these all fiddle with, depending on what corner you're in, because I have mine that automates across, so make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to show you how I make the shadow change in the background as well. It is such a cool little feature, and it just adds a nice little touch to the stream. So subscribe for that. We can change the, the minimum distance and the maximum distance to kind of give it a little, uh, rather than a solid line, we can make it kind of blur in a little bit. We can change the alpha channel as well. So we can have just a little shadow just like that. I think that looks quite nice actually. If we press done, you won't be able to see it on there because there's a black background, but if we go back to this scene where we added that, that whole scene as a source, as a nested scene, there you go. You've added a nice little kind of um, shadow to make that kind of pop. Imagine that you've just got your game in the background. It just means that you won't have to have ginormous overlays and different things to make yourself stand out. It's all about being minimalistic with this sort of thing. Like I say, there is a few other things that you can do using multiple plugins. I'm going to be going into them on another video because they're a bit more in-depth and advanced. But hopefully, if you've, you've enjoyed this, make sure you do the old like and subscribe i mean if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to cover as well i can do that but until the next video guys put your rock with a stone much love to you all